yeah, let's go ahead and now uh, take us to the next little segment. It, it kind of goes along with that conversation. Actually, definitely goes along with the conversation about suffering uh, for the gospel and the expectations that believers should have. Actually, really, I shouldn't say that believers should have, but non-believers should have as they come to know Jesus. Like yeah. that it's not, you know, it's not <laughs> this uh, cheesecake world that you're you're about to enter into. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that. So. So one of the things that um, I think you even mentioned in your book is that when when the the life life happens, right? Mm -hmm. One of the misconceptions is that now everything's easy, right? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. we, we, we ride off into the sunset, like the, the, yeah. the life <laughs> smiles and Hallmark cards, right? Like come right, on. Right. yeah. <laughs> life got tremendously harder. I yeah. So are... so no, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say people are shocked when I say that. It's almost like they think that this is gonna be this 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 uh this like I said right off into the sunset moment and no yeah. that didn't happen. Uh, but I know and how maybe to some of the reason is maybe some of the reason is like some of the popular Christian culture mixed messaging mm -hmm. tries to say some of that, you know. <laughs> but it's yeah. like but if you actually read this, like it's like uh die. <laughs> you know, yeah. like live, like those those who give their life up, like will get. Yeah. Hit. So it's like it's a it's a daily death thing. It's not. Yeah. It's not like it, all of the the uh, roses and rainbows that you you no. think. And you're not getting showered with all sorts of financial gain. You know, no, get out of here. Let me look at our Christian <laughs> history, man. Our brothers, our right. forefathers, spilled blood and gave their lives yeah. in tr horribly yeah. terrible ways. Yep. For us to have yep. a cake, like it ain't happening. Like, That's like, one of the things I, I love. I love about Paul's story. And actually, in the episode that this is going to be shared, we're going to talk a little bit about Paul's uh, uh, story and his his uh, death to life situation. But I love mm -hmm. after he, uh, you know, uh, was blinded by the Lord and then the Lord was sending Ananias to uh, put his hands on him and give him sight. He mm -hmm. says, like, um, I've I've told Paul all the ways that he's going to suffer for my name like it's like <laughs> and it's like wait a minute wait a minute the, the, is that part of like the recruiting you know that you're doing here lord yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. and it's like that's that's what we're signing up for that's what we're agreeing uh -huh. to you know it's uh -huh. like yeah yeah and that's, there's that's so much the evidence of that in scripture like come on like like they why did why why did they kill jesus in the first place they thought he was gonna give them <laughs> something and he came in they found oh we're not gonna get nothing in this world from him so we don't yeah. have no use for him. like no right. he's talking about the next life he's talking yeah. about eternity so yeah that's uh I, I love talking about that misconception because that nothing makes yeah. me more angry than that prosperity stuff that everything's gonna go right. your way yeah it's like no that's no but... negative yeah, and 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 in and in the midst of it, right? We have we have him with us, right? So mm -hmm. you're the oh, thing yeah. that is now always forever going to be an amazing joy is God's presence in the midst of our our dark days and the struggles and the suffering. Like He's not left us alone, and He's promised that He's even going to use it all for His yep. good. Come on. I really wish that I'd let him speak a little bit more in that segment. <laughs> I got I get excited. You can see when I get excited and I get into preacher mode. I'll be like, Ooh, I'm like oh, shut up and let him talk. But uh um I mean, is there anything you want to add to that? I know we talked a bit about that based basically in our other segment. No, I just I just love how yeah, the Lord says, you know, it's not gonna be great, but I'm always with you. And it's not until you're on the other side of those things that you're like, man, I see what you did there, Lord. That was great. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like sometimes you definitely have to get on the other side of it. You know? Oh, oh, oh. Like all the time for me, I'm like, well, what is? And then on the other side, I'm like, why were you um, worried and stressed about that? You knew the Lord was gonna take care. Yeah. Facts. Fa I mean, look, like that's that's me before every time I uh, go and preach the word. I swear, like I so I did. I probably should have updated everybody. I, so I did a couple of uh, uh, youth retreats over this past summer. And one of the last ones I did, it was five messages I needed to preach in three days. And I was like, I was stressing it. I was all in my feelings. Like, oh, Lord, I don't know. I should never sign up for this again. Afterwards, I was like, that was amazing. Look how the Lord showed up. And I'm talking to my wife. And she's like, that's how it always is, babe. Like, I don't know why you, like, you know, like. 
<laughs> you know, and she's not even on the same page with me with all things spiritually, but she's like, I've I've been around this enough with you exactly. to know you freak <laughs> out, you do it, you say it was awesome. Like, exactly. so why are you freaking out? Just skip that. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah yeah 